Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to City Skylines 2. I am on a quest to find the best city layout. And as a wise man once said, hexagons are the best of guns. So today I thought we'd see whether that was the case in terms of city layouts. So we're starting from a fresh map. You can see everything is locked and we're going to see just how quickly we can unlock everything and progress using hexagon city tiles. Now, since this is the, the entrance to our map, you can see the junction up there. This has to be one corner of our, of our hexagon. So I guess we go from there. Now, this is where it's going to get tricky because it's a hexagon. I sort of need to work out what length each side is going to be so that the biggest buildings will fit so what if we go for like a nice round two five six boosh so now in order to get my hexagon i gotta do a 120 degree angle like that and then just make it 256 meters long like that boosh and then we come around this side do the same angle the same length boosh and then before you know it you've built a perfect hexagon which i think isn't that like isn't that what the city skylines 2 logo is based on cool well anyway we've got quite a lot of space in here and you can see down bottom left we got loads of demand for everything so it should probably start painting this up except yeah, we got a big gap in the middle. Now, I don't think it's cheating if I were to like grid this up a bit. In fact, what I might do if I come to medium roads and then grab a four lane road, I could upgrade all of these roads. If I just do like the outside like that, then these will sort of act as like my arterial roads. Then in the middle will be like distributor and local roads. Yeah, this could work. In fact, I could even play on the reason why hexagons are the best guns, which in case you didn't know, it's because a hexagon is just like, it's just six of the second strongest shapes stuck together. So if we just go from one corner, let's say, yeah, inside lane where they intersect, go straight across to this side inside lane where they intersect and then we just do that for every corner then you see exactly my point one two three four five six triangles makes a best again um, oh man look <laughs> Look at that junction. That is absolute carnage. Now, what I could do, if I was being a proper engineer, I could make that a roundabout and that would make everyone very happy. But I'm sort of intrigued to see what the traffic does without a roundabout. So for now, I'm going to leave that as is. And then we're just going to start painting up. So low density houses there. And then, oh no, we need we need services. Oh no, I didn't. I actually didn't think about services. Right, I've got to get up to the water really. Although I don't technically need to. We do have water towers. We've got ground water water pumping stations. Ooh, hello. That could be useful. Groundwater right on the corner of our hexagon. Anyway, it's 40 grand, 10% of my of my money. Yeah, it does produce a little bit of noise pollution, but that's probably fine. People, they now have drinking water. They don't have electricity or a way to poo. Now, ah, it turns out you don't start with a wastewater treatment plant. You've got to unlock that. And even if I did, it's 400 grand. It would leave me with just 50 grand to do everything else. So we can't do that. We need a sewage out. Now, I don't just want to pump sewage, like, just onto the ground. So what I may need to do is get ahead on my hexagons and maybe head up to the river so I can pollute that. So it will come down to roads. Should I try drawing this in medium roads? But basically, I think we want to come to that point where everything intersects. And then we want to take 120 degrees down there. With 256 meters. That angle is 180. Yeah, that looks good. Boosh. Okay, so then we go off that direction. Do that and that and that. And then we've got our next hexagon, but we haven't we haven't got enough hexagonage. We got to get to the water. So I think we'll come from this corner and then we do 120, 256 like that. Nice. And then, oh, we've got to go over. Got to build our first bridge. Oh, and the game doesn't seem to want me to do that. I think that is where I will end up. Oh, like this node as well. It's saying it's in the water. I guess we have to do that and then that. Okay, well we got we got some more hexagons in, which is good. And we do have access to water now. So I reckon let's just let's just get our straight across roads in like that. And then oh actually that's that's not so ideal. That's a <laughs> That's a very long bridge with no pillars. What are you doing, game? All right, so I'm wondering if I were to, instead of drawing it like that, if I go from the middle to that point and then go up. Yeah, that's a lot better because I think that will allow me to build right to the edge. But not only that, it allows me to pollute over this way. And look, we're connected to the main sewer network. Um, yeah, I'll tell you what, I might, I might do the same over this side as well. Like that. Nice. Okay, this is actually pretty decent. What I might do, I might make this my, my sort of industrial area. Since we've already got the, the pollution going on down there, may as well add those in like that. And then this is probably where we need to get like power on the goat. So how big is a small power plant? Oh, it's 
pretty tasty. So yeah, I'm probably going to have to... I could, well, I could put it around the outside. But I feel like I just want to build in the middle. So I may have to delete a road. I'm wondering. Can I delete like that road? Yeah, coal power plant there. Nice. Because now we are a tiny village. But anyway, that is in. You can see actually we, we should probably connect to the outside world. Now I could use pylons to go from here across my hexagon. I don't think I want to do that though. I might come to this elevation and go underground. Connect like that. Because then we're connected. But like no one knows. My hexagons aren't ruined. But nice. We're now polluting the atmosphere. We're now making electricity. Uh, and we, we've got demand for everything. So let's get back to it. I think what I might do. I might. I might keep this one as like a low density area. So that's fine. And then in this middle one, I have I have a sneaky plan. Now we've got some medium density residential demand as well as commercial demand. Let's just quickly go around and build these triangles in like that. And then what I was, what I was thinking for this, we add our, our medium density housing like that. And then that's going to create demand because there's more people there. That will create demand for commercial. So I can shove commercial like say there and there. And then as these medium density houses come in the population is a bit thicker which means commercials they have more customers but nice and then my demand completely completely settled there's no demand for anything except for probably some services so let's get some some health care on the go so i can shove health care in there and then death care ideally although these take this takes up so much room i feel like for now we may have to wait on the death care and try and unlock a crematorium can i unlock that now so if i head to health care and death care yeah i can unlock a crematorium okay let's get that in boost so now in death care we have a crematorium it's 240 grand that's a lot of money anyway let's shove that i don't really want to shove it in the industrial area but it does pollute so what i might do is just wang it like down there because that's like on the edge it's like yes it's surrounded by shops which is a little bit weird i guess go watch your aunt doris get cremated and then do a bit of food shopping on the way home but yeah i think it's better to have polluting building like sort of closer to the industrial than not because we don't we don't want to we don't want to pollute these other guys right anyway we got more demand over here low density painted in so we've also unlocked some new roads oh and a new bridge four lane tide arch bridge oh can i get that involved somehow oh i can make these bridges oh yes i'm getting money back for this refund amount how does that i'm sorry how does that cost less than that? I am not going to complain though because I, I love bridges. So there we go. Perfect. Saved money and made four bilfs. Oh, hang on. I've just realized I just ripped my pumping station. It's on it's on the outside of my hexagon. That is no good. I mean, what I could do to rectify that, I could just wang a hexagon there and then it's in the middle. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. I need, oh, I need to buy two squares to do that probably. Yeah, you have to buy those. That's 17 grand. That is a lot of money actually. Anyway, let's have a go. Can I even... Oh, I can't even squeeze it in. I'm going to have to to move this up a little bit so let's shove it there that is well out the way of my roads then we can get a new hex gun in we're gonna need it as well like demand is just flying everywhere right that is another hexagon in oh i'll tell you what actually i'm not gonna be able to get my oh i'm gonna have to move it again because i want to get my triangular roads in and i'm not going to be able to who keeps who keeps putting this in the wrong place damn architects that's who okay we'll move it up to there that's definitely out the way now and then get our small crossroads in making those triangles the second best of guns but nice that is in <laughs> Do we actually, do we have traffic? Oh, we got loads of traffic. Right, hang on. Is anyone going? Oh, yeah, look, these guys are going through the center. Let's see what happens here. So straight over, motorbike. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, I want loads of traffic coming down here. It's going to be absolute carnage. There's no traffic lights or anything. All right, anyway, we got to get demand quenched. So we need... We need more industrial. Let's paint that one in. Maybe, should I paint this one in too? Yeah, I'll paint that one in too. In fact, actually, no. Maybe I'll make that edge. I'll make that edge commercial. And then I'll do that commercial as well. Nice. Then that will be medium density once you get that demand. Paint those in. Paint those in. That should satisfy quite a bit of demand. Oh, what's happening? What? Why have we got traffic lights here? Who put traffic lights on this on this layout? I did not ask for that. Or oh, actually, are all the ah oh, all the edge corners are traffic lighted? Yeah, I think because they're bigger roads and it's just the middle that's free for all. <laughs> okay, got it. Oh look, a little bit of medium density residential demand cropping up. So back to our commercial area. Let's just paint one square in. That should satisfy that. Yeah, you go. A few row houses going in. Lovely jubble it. All right, and just like that, we are a small village, which means we've unlocked schools. And education is sort of the key to a lot in this game. So 
How big are schools? Okay, schools are big. We're going to have to lose a few triangles. Oh, I am wondering, though. I may be able to fit in. Let's say I were to delete that and that. Oh, and I'm going to have to delete that road. Oh, I'm going to have to delete that road as well. Okay, delete that road as well. Though, actually, if I just delete that part of it, I think I can get this to fit. Yeah, like there. So if I wang that in, then I think of elementary school. Yeah, we'll fit behind it. Beautiful. Oh, they actually fit quite nicely together. Anyway, I've now got, I've got demand for data. Oh, and look, we've unlocked the, the actual medium density housing. So not just row houses, proper medium density houses. Yeah, what I might do, paint the rest of these. So rather than having row houses in here, we got proper medium density, which yes, has quenched demand significantly. But now we've got massive commercial and industrial demand. So I'm going to have to hexagon it. So I do like this square and maybe that one perhaps trouble is this is housing so i don't want industrial to go next to that because that will get air polluted actually i haven't even haven't even looked at the wind direction oh no the wind direction <laughs> Look at all those arrows. Oh, this is just going to be a city where everyone gets polluted. I did not think this through. Actually, I'll tell you what then. Maybe I'll expand residential like over that direction. And then commercial could go that way. Or maybe just keep going like back that way. So yeah, tell you what. Let's buy some tiles. Let's buy those two. And then this is actually... Can you see like that's the highway? This is like a normal road. So people can like park their cars and walk along there. I don't really, I don't really want that there. Let's just pause it for a second. Let's delete this road. Like way back to the highway. And then we've got an area we can add another hexagon. So we'll do that quickly. Put the crossroads in. And then if I unlock highways... Can I actually afford to do that? Oh, no. Highways requires three points. Okay. Well, for now, then, we'll just do curvy road over to there like that. And then we have our new hexagon, uh, which is perfect, really. We've made, like, a very, very efficient, like, it's like an elephant. That's definitely the only thing I see here. I mean, perhaps it's like Great Britain. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you see. <laughs> All right, anyway, since this is the entrance to our city, I'm not, I was thinking of doing industrial down here just purely for wind direction. I don't know if I want that to be like what people see as they enter my city. Sod it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It's industrial. All right. And then our commercial demand. I think since we got some medium density as well, I might just do what I did in the middle here, but keep expanding that like over this way. So 256 up, we've got the 120 degree angle, 180 at the bottom as well. But then we have our new hexagon we can cross road it up and then lovely jubbly it's good for painting so i think as we have a commercial there we'll do commercial there and dead then the medium density can go there because that will help adjacent commercial areas All right and then we get oh man now i really have made britain like that's like norwich so i feel like i've definitely missed wales out sorry oh. wales anyway industrial down here now i don't want to go too close to my medium density housing so i'll definitely do that one but up here where it's close i may want to use like the actual paint tool so let's say up to there so it's sort of like that and then that edge i guess i can just make that commercial doesn't matter if you get polluted while you're at work just not while you're living there all right, nice. Oh, no, that isn't nice. So because I didn't do that over this side and we've got the, the air pollution heading over our city, uh, people down here are getting polluted. Not ideal. So what I may do, I may have to swap some of these. If I paint like those ones. Sorry, everyone. Oh, there's pollution everywhere. Damn wind. Why are you taking pollution everywhere? You know whose fault this is, don't you? It's, it's this guy's fault. Because you decided you had to go in the water and pollute it, I decided to build my industrial up this end and we've cocked everything everything. All right. Oh, speaking of cocking everything, look, we've got, we've got fire and rescue as well as police demand now. So maybe they can go up here where everything's polluted. So police station there, fire station in the middle as well. Oh, and look at the risk of fire. It's all green, which means low. All right. Anyway, now we're good to get some more commercial in. We'll do all of that square. We'll get some more medium density. So that can go there. Oh, we'll get the Polaris suites in. So they can go there, I guess. All right. And then city progressing pretty nice. Nicely. I should probably go. Let's go have a look and go see how the traffic's doing. So there's not actually too much traffic like coming in, really. This seems to be like the busiest intersection, but like it's really not bad. Like there's a couple of cars like, approaching at the same time. <laughs> Oh dear. But yeah, to be honest, that was actually, that's not too bad. I don't think we need to upgrade that to a roundabout yet. Oh, why are you getting air, 
air polluted. That smog is miles away. You shouldn't be polluted. Actually, I wonder, can I upgrade this like coal plant to do less pollution? Doesn't look like I can. Don't see any upgrade button. But yeah, I feel like all these other like small things, they're all like low pollution. So maybe it's just the coal plant that's causing us issues, which I could, I could get rid of technically. In fact, I've got five points to play with. Is there a greener, a greener type of fuel I could use? Oh yes, we could go for geo thermal. Alternatively, we could even go hydroelectric since we have this river coming through. All right, yeah, I'm going to do it. Let's hit port. This could ruin my city, but I need I need to get rid of that pollution. So let's bulldoze this. We get 25 grand back, which is pretty decent to be fair. Oh no, the pollution's still there, even though the building's gone. I got ripped off. That was the bit I was trying to get rid of. All right, anyway, that has gone now. Everyone's complaining about power, so I'm going to hit pause. But I think what I want to do, let's unlock hydroelectric power plant. Unlock. Let's see how this thing works. Oh, it cost 1.5 million. Okay, let's borrow some money. Now I've got 1.8 million, which I'm not sure is going to be enough. But then if we were to go... Yeah, hang on. I'm going to have to delete a bridge. Don't unsubscribe for this or anything. But I think if I delete that, delete that. Oh, no, I can't get away with a 120 degree angle. Wait, or could I? That just says distance too long and in water. Hang on a sec. If I do a little bit of flattening the earth, right, then make that 120 in... What do you mean in water? Of course it's in water. I said damn. What are you on about, game? All oh, right, I've done it. A bit of tweaking. We have done it. So 1.6 million boost. We are now a grand village because we have a dam. All right, and so let's see how this works. Oh my goodness, what is what is going on there? A road connection is required. There is a road connection. <laughs> But yeah, I don't think they like it. Now, the good news is this is making 14, no, 20 kilo. It's going up all the time. Granted, efficiency only 1%. But if we just hit pause, we can probably, we just do a bit of the, a bit of the layout. So two, five, six again. All right. And then I just want to store water in here. Now I have, I have a feeling what I've done somehow is I've built the dam backwards. Like if we actually look at this, can you see like, I'm pretty sure they're like intake holes and that's why the pylons are on this side. Yeah, I think the dam's trying to work backwards and it can't. So rather than having a curved dam, I may have to tweak how I did this. So if I just delete a load of that, can I rebuild it across there in a straight line? All right, and I think the answer is yes, but again, road just gone completely mental. What's going on with the dams today? Yeah, maybe, maybe that is the right side and the water comes out this side because like why would there be a building on this side because this is like the dry side right i don't know but if i do a little bit of landscaping so just fill that in do a little channel line down to there like that then potentially as this area fills up with water we should start making electricity but yeah if i just hollow out this entire hexagon to make like a hexagonal reservoir All right then suddenly we we sort of have this under control maybe essentially <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we have a reservoir now. We have unlimited source of drinking water should we need it. We have a dam, which I'm pretty sure isn't working. Apparently, I've built like five dams. The Lindhurst Dam, the Victory Dam, the Boulder Dam, the Blackwood Dam, the Ringwood Dam. I'm not sure if any of them are producing electricity. But that's fine. It only costs like two million. Good news is we're now a tiny town, uh, which means we can add like office demand as well as high density residential. Now over here, I'm seeing there's people with very high rent. So they probably need a higher zone density to be able to afford that. So what I'm thinking, we swap those with mixed housing. So they're medium density with shops underneath. That should satisfy a bit of everything demand. Oh, nice. Okay, that is good. What isn't good, we still have very much bad air pollution over here. Maybe it's caused by those chimneys. Perhaps I should expect and anyway, that triangle, I might wang some offices in there, you know. I think that's a pretty good place to have offices. Uh, there's also some demand for high density. Now, at the moment, the only high density I have is low rent housing. So what I may do, just like replace a square somewhere, maybe like that one there. I think that will be fine. I've also, I had a thought as well, because we're getting bad air pollution down here and up here, there's the commercial. If we look at the wind direction, you can see the arrows, the pollution from here heading straight across here to our, to our residential areas. So what I was thinking, if I just add another hexagon in like that. This hexagon, we could get a couple of parks in, which will make people happy. But as well as that, we could just go a little bit mental with trees. Literally just paint some trees in because trees filter and clean air. So my plan is as the pollution heads across the trees, the trees should clean them, right? So this is like an air purifier, not just, not just a hexagonal tile. Right, nice. That is gonna clean the air, surely surely. 
So everyone downstream, you should be healthy soon. Do not worry. All right, and in the meantime, I'll just keep this going for a little bit. All right, so I've been building for a few months and uh, things are actually going really, really well. You can see I've got like loads of like medium density places in. Uh, the city is actually thriving, at least in my opinion. Now we've got some big old commercial sectors over here. And oh, did you hear that? We're now a boom town. So yeah, overall, I would probably say hexagons potentially are the best guns, particularly when you look at this happiness meter. To look how happy people are. The only thing they don't like is the high noise pollution and polluted air. But like once once my trees and bushes grow, that problem will be resolved, surely. Yeah, there is there is one slight issue over here, by the way. My dam, which has now filled up. If we click on this, look, it's, it's making decent electricity. 832 kilowatts. It is actually working. You can see water level on that side, way higher than this side. So water's going through, moving turbines. There's loads of bilfs in the background. Everything's good. It Except for over this way, um, <laughs> slight leak. That street is a little bit wet, uh, as is that one. Oh, no, as is down there. Oh, no. Oh, there's actually loads of flooding going on. Oh, my dam's a disaster. <laughs> is there anything I can do to fix it? Hang on, let's have a look at road services. So advanced road services. Yes, please. And ooh, I could if i were to put trees down like that trees drink water we do actually use this like when i when i did suds at, at work that's sustainable urban drainage to you common folk out there so yeah wang a few tree pits in this flood will be sorted i reckon but yeah, to be fair though, like when you come out, like no one's actually complaining about being flooded. So that's good. What they are complaining about is there's no there's no workers over here. Perhaps that's because it's like it's quite a trek to get over there. So maybe some public transport to take people over that way. But yeah, to be honest, considering I never put a I never put a single roundabout in any of these junctions, uh, I cannot believe how happy people are. It's actually it's it's quite incredible. All these stupid challenges, they're always better than my just normal cities. Like even if they're flooding like this road is completely underwater and like no one cares if that happened in Jotopia, people would be kicking off i tell you that right well anyway due to the happiness of everyone due to the boom townness i'm i'm pinning this down as a success the the hexagonal city may actually be winning it's that it's that successful so on that note i guess i'll say peace love and hexagons are the best of gods bye